In the reading this week, I offer a gospel narrative, Jesus' appearance at the Sea of Tiberias in John 21, as a metaphor for the process of theological reflection. In the first unit, I had proposed some reasons for engaging in such processes. The assumption of God's presence and activity in the world, the desire to cooperate with God's will in serving the kingdom of God, and the importance of our practices in cooperating faithfully and effectively. I think that John 21 provides an evocative narrative that can help us become more comfortable with theological reflection. As you read, write in your learning journal, and discuss the assigned questions, I'd like to emphasize two important qualities for you to cultivate. First, openness to God's sometimes surprising presence and activity. The Holy Spirit moves where it will. John 21 is a story of unexpected events for the followers of Jesus. As we enter into our reflection on it, we may be surprised at our new thoughts, feelings, and questions. Second, imagination in our response to the narrative and to our own ministry. Theologian John R. Sachs comments, quote, it seems to me that the scriptures are not meant merely to teach us certain facts about God, the world, and Christian life. They are meant, rather, to inspire our imaginations, enabling us to recognize the inner heart and outer contours of the kingdom. The stories about Jesus, his words and deeds, permit the believer to develop a sensibility for the kingdom. This can enable us to imagine our lives in a much different way and help us to develop an ability to discern the presence of the Lord's Spirit in the ever-changing circumstances of our present lives.